I know I promised in the last video that I was going to release a bunch of reviews and give away a bunch of bikes in November. So here's the first video that I'm going to film. And this is a bike from a company called Cyrusher. You may have seen their ads on Facebook. I know that I certainly have. And they had quite a few different models of mountain bikes and fat bikes and some that fold. So they have gone ahead and sent me one so that I can review it and then of course give it away to one of you. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what exactly we've got. I'm going to say just first impression on the box, nothing super special. Um, this is kind of the typical cardboard box that a lot of e-bikes are being shipped in. Uh, with some of the bigger, heavier fat bikes, especially the ones that I've been shipping out, definitely am trying to put them in something super heavy duty. Uh, this one is a little bit lighter, so it looks like it has fared well in shipping. But let's go ahead and get it out of the box completely. I'm going to get it unwrapped. I don't think you need to see another unboxing because we've shown you enough of those. And we'll go ride it around. Okay, I have the Cyrusher XF770 unboxed and outside. And one thing I gotta say is it's a cool looking bike. I mean, it's red and it's black and it's got these tri-spoked wheels and it's just like, hey, look at me. And for a lot of people, that could be a turnoff. But you gotta admit, it has a little bit of style. So let's kind of go through. I just rode around for a little bit, feeling it out. It's got a full charge on it. Um, so I'm feeling the power that it has. And I'll just tell you what I think. So I've got a bunch of things written down. First of all, the price, it's $1,650, so $1,650. And it's a 500 watt bike. So the things that it has that are kind of unique probably would be the combination of all the things it has. It's a mountain bike. It's got 26 inch wheels. It's got those, you know, cool three bladed wheels I mentioned. It is a folding bike and it's also full suspension. So for people that want a little bit of everything, there you go. You can have a mountain bike, you can have a full suspension, you can have a folding bike, or can you? Because if you have a folding bike and a full suspension, does it do all of those things well is the big question. And I think you guys know the, the answer to that is that possibly but can you do it at a sixteen hundred plus dollar price maybe not so here's here we go let's jump into this review so it is a 500 watt motor um i did a review on another bike that was a 500 watt with a 20 inch wheel and it definitely felt more powerful but i think that's just because of the smaller wheel and the fat tires um you can get that wide Bafang motor. Um, so this bike feels right in line with other 500 watt bikes. Nothing special about the power. I don't feel like it's over delivering. I don't feel like it's under delivering. So just gonna cut it right down the middle and give it a five and say it's just perfectly average for a 500 watt bike. So nothing bad about that at all. The shifting, um, you know, it has more gears than normal. You actually do have a three-speed derailleur up front, which is often left off. I think I'm something that's going for a, a mountain bike, something you want to pedal more. That makes sense. So uh, I think that's a good thing to include. I would never knock a bike down for including those. Um, but basically, you've got an aluminum frame. It weighs about 61 pounds, so it's it's about right where some of the lighter fat bikes are. It's a little bit heavier than some of the fat bikes I sell. Uh, it's a little bit lighter than some of the fat bikes I sell, probably lighter than most, um, but not super lightweight because you got the folding mechanism, you got the full suspension, uh, those wheels. I think all of those things definitely add up. So just average on the weight. So range wise it's got a 48 volt 10 amp hour battery most of the bikes in this price range i i do see that they have a slightly larger battery these days um, but often they're 750 watt bikes this is only 500 so you're still gonna get a decent range out of it um, but i would like to see something a little bigger 
So again, average, nothing spectacular. I feel like, yeah, you can give it a, you know, a, a six out of the range because it's, it's certainly capable of going, you know, that 20 to 40 mile range most people are looking for with the power that it has. If it had a little more, then I'd want to see a bigger battery out of it. Um, if we go into, well, I kind of covered the power already, the, the brakes. So you have these standard zoom levers. You have brake levers on just about every e-bike these days that are mechanical or similar. The calipers themselves are not the greatest. They went with a pretty inexpensive brake set. So they function, they work. That would probably be something you want to upgrade pretty quickly, I think, because that's a, one of the cheaper components that I see is the calipers themselves. So probably gonna have to go like a four on the brakes because they work, but they're not great. Um, if we get into the display, we can turn that guy on right here. And we've got a decent amount of information. You've got your power level, basically your battery level. You've got your speed, what level of pedal assist, and your odometer. You can press this middle button to get through to different things. Um, there's one big problem this bike has though, in, in my opinion, and I've reviewed one other bike that has the same thing. And just because I don't like it, maybe some other people find this totally fine, but I think it's awkward and I, I don't like it. So I'm sorry, but the display is not gonna get a great score because of how it works. And that has to do with the pedal assist and the throttle. Now it does have both. On the plus side, I really like the throttle. I've used those on a couple bikes before. They're slim, they don't even look like a throttle. It's a half twist throttle right here. And they're just, they're nice. So plus on the throttle, physical throttle installed, not a plus on how it works. So here's the deal. Like you guys know, I'm always gonna be totally upfront and honest whether it's good or bad. The pedal assist is right here. You see zero, I can turn it up to one by pushing the buttons right here, all the way up to five, and the pedal assist works just fine. And when I first got on the bike, I was honestly confused because I was like, hey, I can't get the throttle to work. What's going on here? So we do have up and down arrows, so at least it makes this relatively quick, but the throttle does not work in pedal assist settings one through five. The throttle only works when you have the assist set to zero. So you can use the throttle or you can use pedal assist, but they're not quickly interchangeable. You gotta press down on the pedal assist several times to get to the throttle. I find that a little weird. The throttle to me should just always work. So when you want it, it's there. I just don't like being a separate function. So gonna give the display a four because it gives you the information you need, but I don't like that operation. So I'm sorry, Cyrush, or um, you can probably change that, maybe. Um, if we go to components overall, um, I think we can give it a better score for the price. Most bikes in this price range don't have a front derailleur. Do you really need it? No, but it's nice to have it. Um, they're going with, you know, the baseline Shimano components, the Pro Wheel brand on the cranks. That's right in line with things in this price range. Um, you do have a suspension fork, front and rear. I like the throttle. Um, you know, there's there's nothing that screams high quality. There's nothing that screams, hey, I'm like so cheap, I'm gonna break and I'm dangerous. So I wouldn't be concerned about that. However, suspension wise, it's, it's not a great full suspension bike. Um, you're not gonna find a great full suspension bike at this price though. So if this is your budget and you need something that folds, you need or want full suspension, then this could be great. But it doesn't mean it's great. Maybe it's just great for the given price. So the biggest thing to me I noticed um, is that there's no adjustment on the rear suspension. 
So there's no preload, there's no damping, like it's just, it is what it is. So if you wanted to upgrade that, you could, but the way it comes is pretty basic. Um, it didn't feel too terribly soft on the rear suspension. It seems like it was okay. The front suspension was a little soft for me. Um, I can just kind of hop up and down on the bike a little bit and and bottom it out fairly quickly. In fact, I can even show you that. Here, we'll just set the camera right here for a second. So you can see just like that. It's just, if you just want to ride this bike on the road and it's gonna soak up the bumps and speed bumps, then it's fine. Um, if you want a trail bike, you may look elsewhere for the suspension part of it. So components, um, depends on what you're after. If you're gonna ride this on the road and just have fun with it, and just want it to soak up the bumps, then it's gonna be totally fine. Just don't expect that you're getting a full suspension mountain bike, electric bike, and you can go bomb down the trails because it's not gonna hold up. Um, so I'm gonna give it a, uh, it's so hard to score these things because I, I wanna tell you what I honestly think. I feel like if I just, if you're in the situation I just described, then maybe the components are a, a seven or an eight because they're gonna last just fine. But if you're gonna take this thing down a trail and go off a jump, it's gonna get like a two or three because they're gonna wear out. It's just, it's not a matter of if, it's just when, they're going to. So great for the price, um, just not great if you're looking for that full suspension mountain bike experience. That's not what it's made for. So I don't think that was the target for the bike. I think it was more of a, hey, let's make something affordable. Let's make this something that looks killer and can do a little bit of everything. So keep in mind, that's what this bike is for. Uh, support, uh, emails back and forth with the company have been great. No complaints whatsoever. Uh, if I have any concerns with support, it would be that the, you know, and I'm not saying I have the greatest manuals or things. I'm still working on stuff like that too for Bolton e-bikes, but the manual that came with it was uh, in Chinese. Um, to give you an example, I can't not share this. It's it's both amazing and and strange at the same time. Here is a label, like a warning label on the bike. Um, it's kind of hard to get the camera where we can see this and read it. It says, check whether the brake before and after normal flexible front and rear wheels, Tai Chi adequacy checks whether all screw fastening. Please make sure the clamp ring doesn't fall off before using. I, I don't have a clue what they're saying right there. So just be aware that's kind of the level of uh, documentation that comes with the bike. To go along with it, here is the charging mouth. No, that's not a charging port. That is the charging mouth. So definitely a very, uh, how do I say this? Um, it's made in China and all be all e-bikes are. Um, so some of the, the level of the documentation, things that go with the bike is brought up, uh, you know, into other languages and things. And this bike is not quite there. I think they'll get better with that over time if they start selling more bikes in the U S. So buy more of their bikes guys um i mean when you look at it from that perspective should you buy one of these like i said do you want a folding full suspension mountain bike for less than two grand i mean there aren't a ton of options so let's go on to the next thing community uh i did look up on facebook uh, i found a small group of owners who have these bikes it wasn't huge i think there was 60 some members in it today but that's a start. Everybody's got to start somewhere. And I posted a question about the throttle and I got a response. So small community, but the people that are involved with the company are there. They're in the group. They're answering questions. So I see the community and the support only growing in that manner. So thank you, Cy Rusher, for getting back to me quickly on the questions I had. Uh, hopefully that's the same for anybody who buys the bike is that if you have a problem or a question, they're gonna to respond to you in a reasonable time and help you out. So good for Cyrusher on the support and working on the community aspect too. 
Uh, customization is always something I talk about. The bike comes with the fenders. It comes with a pretty big headlight on it. For this type of bike, I don't really see anything else you would need other than some people may want a rear rack. That is a little bit harder to do on a full suspension bike, but there are options. So I don't see a lot of customization happening just because there aren't many of these out there yet. Um, but then again, it's a bicycle. So a lot of the things are standard bicycle components. You can go change out the brakes. You can change out the shock on the front, in the middle, and you can do some of those things your self so lots of options for upgrades just because they are using relatively standardized parts so you know customization like i said don't see anything custom made for it but you could give it a five because there's going to be plenty of things that'll work maybe just not advertised for hey this is a upgrade for the Cy rusher bike uh, number nine packaging and delivery uh, came in a standard brown box like most e-bikes do uh, I did unfortunately have a little bit of damage. The bike overall looks great. It's a little bit wild and I'm okay with that. I would, I would ride it. Um, the main thing that happens when a box gets squished, it's usually the derailleur hanger that gets bent. So I was able to tweak it back a little bit. And if you have to bend it too far, it can break. And ideally you should replace that derailleur hanger if it's bent. Uh, for the review to get this done, I just put it kind of back into place very carefully and it's working just fine now. But, you know, so the packaging, you know, wasn't anything spectacular either. Uh, but aside from the derailleur hanger, uh, I don't have any other complaints, didn't have any other damage or anything on the bike. So there you have it. That is the Cyrusher XF770. When it comes down to it, I know it may not have gotten the greatest scores on certain things, but would I recommend buying this bike to somebody? And here's the situation currently where I would. If somebody said, hey, my budget is well under $2,000, maybe they're looking for the bikes that are in the $1,500 price range. Okay, that's $1,650, that's getting right in there. Uh, for the battery size and the motor size, it'd be nice to see it at the $1,500 price point because there's other bikes that are right there. But this one does have full suspension and they usually don't. Um, so they have a slight advantage there. They've also got that front derailleur. So if you said, I want to ride on the road and I just want full suspension to soak up all the bumps, I want to be able to pedal all the time, so I want a wide range of gears, and I don't want a fat tire bike. That cuts some options out. Um, all those things together, then this bike makes sense, and I would say go check out Cy Rusher's website and buy one of these. And if that's not what you're looking for, then don't. Um, as always, I don't want people to buy, I don't want people to buy a bike because I recommended it and said, hey, everybody should buy this bike because there's no one bike that is right for everyone. I like a certain type of mid-drive fat tire bike for me personally, and I've got people that will ride a mid-drive thousand watt bike and a 500 watt hub motor bike and buy the 500 watt hub motor bike it's got less power, yeah, but it's the right bike for them. It feels comfortable, it's fun to ride, and that's what e-bikes are about. They're about having fun, and if you think the Cyrusher is the bike that's gonna allow you to have the most fun, then it's the one you should buy. So I hope that helps people's buying decisions. Um, it is, like any bike, a lot of fun, so I think what I'm gonna do now is go ride it around some more, get an even better feel for it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got a good handle on how this one goes and what I would use it for. Like I said, uh, I'm not gonna go down the mountain biking trails because I don't think it would handle that well for it. I think it would wear it out quickly. Uh, and I do wanna keep it nice and pristine. 
because this is another bike that I'm gonna give away this month. So make sure to check in the description. I'm getting all these videos filmed, reviewed, and I'm still working on some of the details of the giveaways, but I will make sure to put details in the description if there's a chance for you to win this bike, which there's a high chance that there is, or if there's not, I have some other bike that's being given away. So thanks again for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe, like, come back for more videos, and I'm gonna go ride around.